When you take a good hard look at this market and really probe into its guts, there's one thing coursing through the body, and that's disappointment. It has an inevitability to it. You know it. I know it. The inevitability of disappointment is true, even on a not terrible day like this one. Dow advanced 16 points, S&P inched up 0.31%, NASDAQ gained 0.40%. Perhaps because it was much higher earlier in the day. Now, that's that pattern, that sickening pattern. Every year, we like to come out to San Francisco to rediscover what makes this economy work. But this time, there's a vicious sense of disappointment looming almost everywhere. The first disappointment is the stocks themselves. When they start out strong, there's a pretty good chance they'll give up the ghost by midday. If you don't follow the market that closely, you may not realize that the leaders this morning were none other than the semiconductors. There were buyers all over the place as early as 5 a.m., especially for AMD and NVIDIA, a pair of chip makers that used to be much higher, although they rebounded hard off their lows lately. After Friday's pacing, it seemed like a pretty good entry point for the group. So AMD stock opens up a couple of bucks, and it's anointed the leader because that's a big analyst meeting on Thursday. Just like solving a crime, you have motive, the analyst meeting, means, the money on the sidelines, opportunity. It's only a couple of bucks. Let's go. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.